Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on Crack Concepts and this is the fourth video in the series Solve Interview SQL Queries with me. So this is the fourth query, three videos are already up and you can find the links to those in the description box. So there are going to be total five queries that I will be solving in five different videos. So make sure you watch all the five videos because they're going to be power packed, very informative. Do watch it. So without further ado, I'm going to start with question number four over here. But with, uh, before that, I'm going to give a quick refresher on the entity relation diagram and the tables uh, in case you're watching this um, after some break. And if you already know all this, you can just skip this part and directly go to the part where I'm solving the query. So yeah, let's begin. So there are total five tables, account balance, account type, account type, underscore D, account name and names. Now. As you can see, there are lines between them. So what this means is these two tables are connected via PK. PK means primary key. And these two are also connected. These two are connected, then these two are connected, and these two are connected. But these two aren't connected, these two aren't connected, these two aren't connected because there are no lines between them. And if you want to see how they are connected, always, rem always remember that PK or FK will be written in brackets. So PK means primary key and FK means foreign key. Okay, so between these two tables, what are the common table or common columns that you can find? So if this is account underscore I and account underscore I. So these two are common between the two. And, uh, and between these two, between these two, what you can find? Account underscore I, account underscore I again is common between these two. And between these two, account underscore type underscore C is common between the two. Between these two, um, first underscore name underscore I and last underscore name underscore I and name underscore I. These are common. So also remember that primary keys or primary keys in two tables. So suppose one is a foreign key and the other is primary key. It does not necessarily mean they will have the same names. They can have different names as well. Okay. And um, between these two, account underscore I is common. Okay, now let's see the tables. This is the account balance table, which has account underscore I means the account numbers, date, and the balance amount. Then we have account type, so account I and then account type underscore C. So these are just letters. Then we have another table, which is account underscore type underscore D. So this has account underscore type underscore C means, means these, this column, this and this column, these two are common between the two. So between these two tables, account underscore I is common. And between these two tables, account underscore type underscore C is common. So as you can see, C, D, H, S, these are common. And they have corresponding descriptions. So C corresponds to credit card, D corresponds to check account, H corresponds to home loan, S corresponds to saving account. And then we have account name account underscore i again this is the primary key this is the common key between the various tables we have first name i last name i and now you will wonder why we have integers why do we have numbers in first name and last name we have one six two five three five four seven there should be names so we have another table at the bottom which is names and here we have these numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And these have corresponding names. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is actually 1 means Ross. So Ross, first name is Ross. Then we have 6. 6 is here, which is Carter. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, account number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The name for account number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is, I mean, the account holder is Ross Carter. Okay, so 1, 6. Ross Carter. This is how the tables are interconnected. Okay, so it's little complicated and the questions are also complicated and hence there's a lot of learning involved in these five videos that are going to come. So stay tuned for it. The fourth question is write the SQL statement to show the second most recent balance for each account. Now the hint over here is go back to question number one. The question number one was, write the SQL statement to show the most recent balance for each account. Here, we need to find the second most recent balance. 
So that is your hint. So try to think over it, hit the pause button and try to solve the query on your own and then get back to the video and see if the answer that you have, have thought of is same as mine or even if it's different, that's okay. A single query can be written in various forms, in various other ways. So do not think that the, the query that I am writing, the answer that I am writing is the only correct answer. You could have many correct answers to it. If you have a different answer other than mine, make sure to comment it down so that others can also look at it and have a better understanding of the question, have another answer for the same question. This will in turn in improve everyone's knowledge around SQL. Our question is, write the SQL statement to show the second most recent balance for each account. As I already said, that this question is somewhat similar to our question number one, where we had to find the most recent balance for each account. So if you, if you haven't watched that video yet, make sure you watch that video before you watch this video. We need to find the most recent balance, second most recent balance. The balance column is over here. And when we say most recent means we need to take date into consideration. So that also we have in the very same table for each account. So we need the account number. And here is our account number, ACCT underscore I. So all the three columns are in the very same tables. We do not need to join or do anything of that sort. Now let's like write the query. Rank over partition by account because we need to group it by account as we as the question says for each account. So we need to group it by or partition it by account number order by date we need to order it by date because we need the second most recent the word recent is there so we need to take date into consideration and i'm going to give it an alias here it is and from account balance make sure you watch the first video otherwise this will get a little difficult for you to understand Sorry, and date underscore I. Okay. As you can see over here, we can see the account numbers. We can see the output has account number, date, the balance amount, the rank balance. Okay. These are the ranks. In question number one, we wanted the most recent balance. Hence, we picked up only those records that had the rank as one. In this case, we need the second most recent balance. Hence, our output, our query will change slightly and we will need only those records that have rec rank as two. So let's make that change to our query. And here so i'm gonna just i just want balance amount and account number hence i will just select those from this so this can be considered as a table so this is the output so we're going to select only balance amount and account id from these four columns okay and then i just need to filter it out where the rank balance is equal to two And now if you run it this is our output only two records two account ids 23456 and 99824 and the balance amount of 2500 and 2500 the reason being only these two accounts are repeated twice as you can see 23456 23456 one is 10th jan 2020 and 31st december 2022 second most recent this one will be the most recent and this will be second most recent this will be the second one hence the balance amount is 2500 which is our output so our output is correct and the second second account which which has two records in the table 
is 99A24. The rest have only one record, hence those have not come in our output. 99A24, 99A24 has two records. One is 31st December 2022 and the other one is 11 Jan 2022. 2020. This is the most re second most recent one. Hence, this will come in our output and the balance amount is 2500 which came in our output as well. So our output is correct, our query is correct and I hope you all understood this query. In case you all have any questions or any doubts, make sure to comment it down and thank you so much for watching this video. Like, share and subscribe to our channel and the fifth video is coming very soon and if it's already uploaded, you will find the link in the description box and do not miss even one video of the five video series as all the videos are very informative make sure to watch it and with this i will end the video thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you guys next time thank you